Hey there guys, welcome back to Artifact Studios and today I want to show you my top 5 VST instruments. Number 5 Junefish 4. Um, this one is really interesting. This is the only uh, free plugin in this whole list. I uh, use Junefish quite a lot even though um, I haven't showed it in my videos yet. Um, I use it quite a lot and I, th the reason because I use it is 1. It's free. Two, it's only 10 KB in size. Um, if you strip out the uh, actual interface, the coding of the plugin is only 10 KB, so it's really small, and it uses almost no CPU. So it's really, really great. I like the visualization thing that you get right here. If you play a note, um, let me. You can see, I like that visualization thing that you get. Um, and yeah, and so it's it's free, so that's really good. Number four. Zebra 2. Um, Zebra 2 is really, really amazing. Um, the rooting capabilities in Zebra 2 are endless. You can do so many things with it. It um, definitely deserves a spot on this top five list. You get so many options with this. The... Uh, Editors are really nice. You get all these different options where you can use additive synthesis or you can create your own wavetables in here like that. It's really amazing. You can do so many things with it. And um, another great thing about Zebra 2, I think, is um, that you get these oscillator effects. Um, it's pretty great. You can basically just choose a waveform and then you get all these effects that you can apply to the actual oscillator before it's running into any filtering or whatever. So it really gives you a lot of things you can do. And I feel like the possibilities are pretty much endless with this plugin. Um, it's great for uh, as a sound design tool. Um, I know that a lot of film music creators um, and sound effect sound designers for films actually like this plugin as well. It's pretty good for all kinds of sounds, whether you're making bass sounds, electronic stuff, or more organic sounds. You get so many options with this, so definitely a good thing to check out. Number three. Reveal Sound Spire. This one, um, I love this one because it has such great vowel filters in here. Right here in the phaser, you get three vowel filters and they sound amazingly good. So I feel like um, if I want to have something that is easy to create but still has a nice vowel character to it, I like to grab Reveal Sound Spire for that. It's a pretty interesting thing. Now, another great thing is the oscillators. The oscillators itself are really great as well. You uh, don't really get your classic... Uh, oscillate as well. You have the uh, classic thing right here. You can choose the oscillator down there. But um, you get all these other options. You have the noise option. You get the FM option, which is also pretty cool. You can see. You can FM the, FM the sound. Um, the AM sync is also really interesting. Um, and the pause width. It's a really interesting thing. Um, I like uh, this plugin. I think I have to. Uh, I'll do some more tutorials about Reveal Sound Spire soon because um, I haven't done too much with this plugin, but um, I tend to use it quite a lot in my uh, productions. Now, one great addition is that they uh, actually added the arpeggiator now in a newer version. So that's really great as well. I love the arpeggiator and uh, the step sequencer. 
is also pretty interesting. So um, yeah, that's a great, nice plugin. I uh, love to use it. It's uh, maybe a little bit limited in terms of options compared to, for instance, Zebra 2. But I think it's still definitely a great plugin. And the sound quality of it is really good. So um, yeah. If you uh, haven't checked this out yet, download the demo and check it out. I'm pretty sure that you will like it. Number two. Native Instruments Massive. Now, this one is a plugin everybody knows. And um, I think in most people's list, this one will be at the first spot. Because it's just, it's so versatile. Um, but, on the other, but on the downside, you know, it's also a plugin that's been used so much. And all of these options are... So many people played around with it, and I feel like, um, especially for people who uh, are just starting out with Massive, it's really easy to create a sound that, inside Massive that has that sound quality, that, that um, sonic character that Massive has. So I find that when you don't spend much time with Massive and you are just starting out with it, the sounds you create tend to sound like they are made in Massive. And that's not a good thing. Um, I like my sounds to be original and sound like um, people will um, start to think, how did they make this? And if it sounds like it's made in a certain synth, because Massive has a really char characteristic sound to it, um, it doesn't really sound that, that warm. Uh, right from the beginning. Uh, well, it's warm is a difficult term to describe things with, but um, I don't think ma Massive tends to sound quite harsh if you uh, are really layering stuff. Um, you tend to get a lot of high frequencies from Massive. Um, therefore, I think... Um, it's, g it, it's a really good plugin, but in some kind of ways... It sort of like sounds like Massive. Now, um, nonetheless, it's still one of my favorite plugins. I use this so much. And um, if you are familiar with everything inside Massive and you really know everything about the routing options and how all different wavetables sound, Massive is definitely a great tool to use and you can create a lot of good stuff with it. I mean, the filters, the filter section in Massive is absolutely superior to a lot of synths. Um, definitely because you get the, um, the, ch the, you can choose whether or not you want to use it in a serial way or in a parallel way. Um, you can have the insert effects before or after the filters. You can get, you can send the oscillators to one of the two filters or to both. And you can change the amount of, um, each oscillator being sent to which filter. So it's, it's really versatile and it's really, um, you can do a lot of stuff with it. The um, effects in Massive are also really good. The Dimension Expander is one of the effects that a lot of people know and um, a lot of people are really using a lot because it sounds pretty damn great. And um, the Unison in Massive is quite okay. I've heard better Unisons um, in other soft synths, but the Unison in Massive is good. It's a really good Unison. Um, gives you plenty of options. And um, number one, X for Records Serum. Yeah, um, ever since this one came out and I bought it, I am amazed with the possibilities of Serum. It's I don't know. It's it's such a great plugin. I I need to say that ever since I bought this, I pretty much only use this plugin for everything I create. Um, I still use a lot of these other plugins, but um, uh, Serum is like the plugin that I use almost on a daily basis. I think for pretty much 80% of all the sounds that I want to create, I'll grab Serum. Um, Serum is so great because you get the uh, Wavetable Editor, which is basically unrivaled. I've never seen anything like this before in another synth that has so many options and so much control over what you want to create. And it's such a great tool to experiment with because you can find out so many different sounds. And I'm pretty sure that everybody who picks this up and really 
spends the time to learn the plugin inside out, read the manual and just get to know this thing, those people will be able to create really original sounds and patches with this plugin. So yeah, the wavetable editor of Serum is definitely a great thing. Um, you also get the sort of like the additive engine right here, which you can use to uh, create really interesting shapes, as you can see, just using the, uh, the editor. And that's pretty much really cool because you can also you you could also draw in here it's amazing you know and send that to here it's really powerful um the other great thing i like about serum is the uh the unison i mean we're th we we've just talked about the unison in massive that i think is pretty good but i've heard better unisons well serum is one of those it's the unison in serum I don't know, but it sounds so good. It sounds so wide, so pretty much really full. You get the uh, option to uh, have the face uh, restart randomly or not. And even better thing about that is when I whack those voices up, I can actually say, like, I want that face to be really just anywhere in the waveform. But I could also bring it back to only have a little bit of random face at the start of each note. And um, that's pretty powerful. You can also automate that knob if you want. You can attach LFOs to it. The uh, possibilities are pretty much endless with Serum. And um, definitely because you can insert your own waveforms into the wavetable editor, you will be able to create so many sounds with it. It's so powerful. And um, let's see. What else do I think Serum is really, really great at? Um, the LFOs. I mean, these are pretty much your standard LFOs. However, there's one big difference. And that is that you are allowed to add a lot of new points into this thing right here. So I can create patterns in here and just bring that rate down pretty slow and I could create a really long pattern of up to 32 bars. So that's really, really great because basically the LFO in, in, in Serum is capable of doing what, what the LFO is in Massive but also what the performer is in Massive except this is just in one LFO. So it's really pretty interesting. <laughs> and I like that. Um, it gives you a lot of options, and um, I feel like, especially because you, uh, in Massive, you're stuck with the uh, predefined shapes that you have in the performer. Um, you can use those shapes to create your pattern, and that's pretty cool. But in Serum, you can actually create your own shapes, and I don't think there's a wave of there's an LFO editor in a VST instrument that is more complete than the one in Serum. So that's another reason why I, deser I think Serum deserves the number one spot on this list. Um, the last thing I think Serum is really excelling at are the filters. There's so many different filters in here. Your normal filters, you've got your multi-stage filters, which basically morph between uh, multiple different types of filters. You get these flanges, which have comb filters, flanges, phaser filters. Um, these normally aren't really um, filters per se. They are more like effects that you would see. You would see them normally in the effects section, I guess. But in Serum, they put that as filters and that really is an interesting thing and instead of just putting in one comb filter one flanger one phaser they have put in so many different things so many different options and that is really powerful that that's why i think serum the possibilities are really endless with this it's amazing how many things you can do and how many control you get over the sound um the other ones, the miscellaneous, miscellaneous, miscell I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> but um, these ones are really nice as well. These are just some additional ones that are pretty interesting. Um, yeah, and that's, I think, Serum. It's pretty 
amazing. The, the the user community on the X4 Records website is pretty good as well. A lot of patches are being shared. Um, Steve Steve Duda, the creator of this plugin, is also really great. He's uh, he has the forum on his website. He's really listening to the user to the user base, um, trying to implement everything that uh, people are requesting, um, fixing things that people are experiencing pl- problems with, and he's doing a lot of work. And that's something I also value a lot. Um, therefore, I think Serum is and will be the number one spot on this list for a pretty long time. So that's it. That's my top five favorite VST instrument plugins. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, then subscribe to this channel, and I hope to see you back tomorrow. Peace.